water. It's easy to to know or realise how knights learn their fighting skills, jousts, melees, hunting even. And what about the peasants? What interests me is, is how peasants who didn't have access to that sort of training develop the ability to go on the battlefield and kill knights with, with agricultural implements like the bellhawk. How long have you been doing this? Uh, well, this is a deadly weapon. When the, I swing it, it travels at 50 miles an hour. Wow. That's a, a cutting edge. Um, I learned from a master um, or champion uh, edge layer, and um, he said to me, I've taught you the basics. Now you need 10 years experience to be as good as me. And it did take me about 10 years to learn to do it as fast and as well as he was doing it. That's interesting. That's almost like the apprenticeship system as used by most of defence, which taught ordinary people how to use weapons such as the bellhook, such as the maul, etc, etc. So seven years was a journeyman and 12 years was a master. So it's not too different really, is it? The other thing that's worth bearing in mind is that uh, agricultural uh, ploughing and uh, agricultural schools had competitions every year and after the harvest people had competitions and so uh, landowners would go to the competitions and see who was the best uh, hedge layer, who was the best ploughman, so they would want the very best people who, uh, at their skills, so um, it paid to be well trained and it paid to have good experience. So that, that's interesting, so it's a self-perpetuating system really, wasn't it? Yeah. So when somebody came along and ways the, the Norman Chronicler wrote about the English killing both knights and horses with a billhook, it would be something like this, wouldn't it, perhaps on a longer pole? Yes, because as I said, if I can swing this with my hand at about 50 miles an hour, if you add a six foot shaft on the end of this uh, and you wielded that down on a knight's head, um, that would be travelling at fair speed and easily go through metal. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me. So basically, it's a form of exercise, conditioning almost, using these agricultural tools day in, day out. Yes, because obviously, uh, if I've been doing this all the time for 30 years, as I have been, uh, your upper body strength is bound to be good. So your shoulders are strong, your arms are strong. You know, it, it, you can wield the thing with accuracy and you're not wasting effort. It must have been effective because it wasn't long before they, they started producing military versions of agricultural tools. I mean, with a billhook or military versions, the maul, or, or, or to use the old English word, the beetle, a, a wooden mallet with lead faces, which was used for putting in posts or breaking up clods of earth. An English knight used one in a tournament and it weighed 25 pounds. It just crushed armour. And I believe that's the original meaning is crushing implement or smashing implement. Of, of, of the word beetle. So quite often the, 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 the skills developed by a peasant farmer were identical almost to the skills he needed on the battlefield. I mean I think that's fascinating. That's, I think that's true. It's also with experience comes accuracy. You get very good at economic moves. Um, in other words you don't flail around. You do one cut and that's a deadly cut. So you're not wasting effort at all. So it's very similar to any kind of warrior skill. I, I noticed over there that you were holding the, the, the stake, call it what you were, the post, at an angle. Is, is that the sort of skill you're talking about, the, 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 to get the angle correct? Uh, yes, you hold it at an angle so that your cut can come down vertically. So you just angle the stake so that the blade comes down vertically because it's much more uh, accurate to make a vertical cut, I mean, just do an angle cut. The, the reason I ask that is, is because as a martial artist, one of the first things you're taught is, is the huge importance of angles, of delivering blows at certain angles, not only to, to, to get past the guard, but to use the, the best efficiency, if you like, to, to apply the most, most power. And I, I just find that fascinating, that the tie up between the two. Well, when you're making the pleaching cut, um, the angle is very, very important because you've got something the size of a boy's wrist and you need to make an angled cut down it so that it can bend over. Well, that angle cut has to be a pretty good accuracy, really, because otherwise you might just chop the whole thing off and then you lost it.